A lot of information has been provided to this council regarding the negative impacts of the proposed Invenergy power plant. I can speak to you again about the significant health, safety, and environmental concerns associated with this project. But instead, I'm going to come at this from a slightly different angle, one that I hope resonates and stays with you as you deliberate your final decision. Beyond the important considerations that I just mentioned, if I were in your position, I would expect that I might be asking, what's in it for Winsaga if we don't approve the sale of water to energy? What's in it for the city if you opt to side with Barville and the 17 other cities and towns throughout the state who are taking a stand against this monstrous proposal? Each of you ran for your seat on this council to do your part, to move our city forward to a brighter future, to restore those glory days that many of us remember. But we all need to work together to do this. No one goes through life alone, not you, not me, and certainly not our communities. We need, we need each other as partners and allies and friends to be successful. I think you have the opportunity to bring our two communities into a closer partnership. A decision by this council not to sell water to Invenergy would, I'm sure, encourage our friends and citizens of Barville to look to Winsocket as a go-to source for maybe their shopping and dining and entertainment needs that we so desperately need. But we can't expect their residents to help us achieve our goals if we alienate them by helping to force this power plant down their throats. If the citizens of Barville have taken a position on what they believe is in their community's best interests, who are we to have the ability to effectively change the course of that decision? I know that if the tables were turned, we in Winsocket would not expect a neighboring community to do this to us. So I encourage Winsocket to join with Barville and 17 other cities and towns around Rhode Island in an effort to begin to take back our local control by saying no to selling any resources to Invent Energy. So in closing, this isn't an exaggeration. I really believe that this council has a rare opportunity to be heroes. Heroes to the citizens of Barville for coming to their aid by supporting them in this critical time. Heroes to, heroes to this and future generations of Rhode Islanders for helping to preserve one of, one of the last remaining pristine areas of Rhode Island and not further polluting the environment with known cancer-causing agents. And you know, heroes to the citizens of this city for demonstrating that you are true leaders. And to do that, you need to have the courage to place the public good and desires of, their, of your constituents above monetary, personal, and political motivation. So, your time, just ask, please, your time is up. Please vote now.